to trade go underneath this video the link is right there i'm going to talk a little bit um about specific market structures and i'm going to uh, apply it to currency markets just now um i'm going to go over that together so i've just downloaded my zoom so <laughs> that's why we're getting a bit flashed underneath um, but if you look at the euro dollar clearly the trajectory has been favored to the downside um on a quicker easing cycle in the eurozone than the us that followed through from 2024 looked like things were getting better in the eurozone the ecb spoke a lot about it therefore now if you look at these lower highs which i've labeled you can also see within the same period okay you've also had higher lows okay so you're pulling up to the upside from the downside and to the downside from the upside and the point you're at at the moment is one in which you're not quite back to the top okay you're about three quarters of the way um and you saw a bit of rejection as the market started to run into price action levels there okay you can see them over here there's a flip zone there flip zone there flip zone there in other words that's where you've had a market reaction already uh, your stock oscillator almost to the upside entirely okay you're just coming into overbought territory so we know we're getting some value here um so we can see if we look over this period it's not exactly a um a downtrend because we don't have continuous lower lows if you take it from this period okay so i'm talking about starting from there now if you tighten this up slightly you've now got higher lows and should the euro come up here it would turn into what would then be a near-term uptrend because you've then got consecutive higher highs like this so whenever you're drawing a trend line you've got to un you've got to think about how far you're doing it back from and how many candles you want to include now that's mostly why i let robots do it for me because they will automatically input the amount of candles and the amount of highs and lows most people just go for two um however so for this to now now this is the thing as well because this low here is before this high it's not an uptrend just yet if you draw let's say a line like this and you take this low here so you're going for the very long term okay it will be confirmed as a downtrend i mean you could take a line of best fit here perhaps okay but it will be confirmed more so as a downtrend once you actually end up coming back here because then you'll have lower lows and lower highs which is what a downtrend constitutes so like i said it's always about where you're you're drawing these things from essentially so if we talk about a bit of analysis here you would be looking for a move up to this point probably for the most ideal entries i think you might get some kickback now i think it does constitute perhaps a light entry but i think you're going to be better off should you come up to this area because you've got lots of key rejection here okay and you've got a bit of price action to the left there you've got some kickback here as well so historically across the board you know this area has shown price action rejection you'll probably get a bit of a push up on your stock oscillator you've got these previous sell areas to contend with and it's going to form a very good technical basis but that market structure like i said if you're looking at it from a downtrend perspective it's going to be confirmed more so if you receive another lower low now if you were looking to buy this and you wanted to do it in line with that you would probably be better off doing it you know down here somewhere because if you look to the left within your downtrend which you can see over here you've also got all this price action to refer to and this price action here is going to feed in to your long side bias because if you look very clearly the market has hit this area and rallied away significantly to the upside so we know there is buy side bias here we know there are buyers that are exist and we know it's likely therefore the buyers are going to be willing to slip back in okay so it's okay to buy within a downtrending market all right it's fine to do that 
You just need to do it in the in the correct way. You've got to understand that because we're downtrending, you could slip through this level. But if you're looking for probability to the long or short side, it's going to be there for the short side in line with that side. And then for the long side, long term, it's going to come in line with your uh, lower low down here. OK, so it's probably going to look something like this. And that's not to say you can't buy it before then. I think you'll probably get a little bit of kickback at this point and market rejection as such. Um, but beyond that, you know, you may find you end up down there. It would just rely on a furthered and, you know, speedier, quicker easing cycle from the ECB. And that does look like the way things are traveling. So personally, for me, I would set short orders around um, the top trend line in this case. Um, and that would support the sen sentiment bias that you can see already. Um, I think people take their entries early because they misdraw these slightly. Um, so just be careful with that as well. Short bias for me up top there and long bias down here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope that teaches you a bit about drawing trend lines. If you do want to learn to trade, go underneath. You can learn right there. See you soon.